Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Ford and back. It's Josh, actually. This is my little test track, I guess. It's really close to home and when I've only got a bit of time, just come here and work on my skills. I've been doing it a lot lately, I know, because I need to work on my skills. But I'm also testing some things. I've wanted to come over before the weather comes in, do a very super, super quick video, just going for speed and remembering to break. <clears throat> so yeah, try to get used to this, this place. What I wanted to do actually is just switch it into fancy mode. Kind of look at the speed I can get on one of these straights and then put it into fancy mode and see if I can get faster just to start to play with it because I haven't much, but I've got some alarms set up in darkness spot so I can push through them. Just getting my legs a bit of a workout, warming up to it first and then I'll try to push into it, maybe adjust some settings on the wheel. And that's it. Maybe I'll just do a couple of minute video on this again. All right, thanks for coming. Just a super quick one today. Talk soon. Okay, so super quick. I'm just getting it up to 65 on this little straight. I don't know, it's maybe 100 meters. I'm not good with distance. There's a speed hump there and then really tight corners. It's a dead end at either end. So I've got to get ready for the corners and give myself that room. But I'll just switch it into fancy mode and that way I can start to have a look. So as you can see, I've got the place to myself. The weather's good, there's no wind just a little bit of a place to play. I'm only getting 65 kilometers by the time I hit that point on normal mode. 70 kilometers was my max speed. So I've just switched it over to fancy mode. We'll have a little look. Not gonna be able to get up to the higher speeds here. I don't think, but it says higher output. So I'll have a little play. I'm well geared up. I don't have wrist braces on. 93% um, battery and yeah, I just changed the pedal hardness, so that might make a difference too. But I'll just get used to it for a bit. Actually, it is more zippy. So at that stage, you could hear the first alarm kicking in for darkness spot. Now I had that at set at 65 kilometers, so that's the first alarm. Feels a bit wobbly, a little bit. I don't seem to have my legs yet, so I'll just do a couple of runs. Security just turned up, but they waved at me, so I think that's a good sign. Unless they're just figuring out what to do with me. But no, I mean, this is good. I've put the camera down over here, and maybe I'm getting some nicer footage of me just going past. Still in a test mode for this firmware, so I don't want to push things too far, I guess. I'm hitting 70 kilometers in that straight but it's the braking is what I really need room for. But I'm actually not hearing my darkness spot alarm, so I might just check that the app's still running. But it does feel, I think, a little bit more agile. It does feel more floaty too. And it does work your legs out a lot. So all of those things, just a bit of practice to lean into it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you think you're at speed, but you're not, and sometimes you're at speed when you don't think you are. It's interesting, you know, I think you're thinking about so much and you really just need to concentrate on the road here too. <laughs> Look, so far on this little stretch here, just with my first real go at leaning into fancy mode, I can get it up to 75 kilometers per hour in this straight. So, look, that's to do with, maybe I just got used to rolling and pushing it a little further. I think I could still just milk a little bit more out, so I'm gonna roll for a little bit further. And I know I've been over here a lot, but I'm trying different things and I've got, you know, this is a good little test ground for me just to stretch the legs and test these features. It's still a good, good thrill, a good workout. And you know, it is quite thrilling. It takes a bit of focus. I mean, I love it. It really, you know, closes my mind off and I just get focused on what I need to do.
make sure you gear up if you're gonna test firmware and also test speeds. Find the right place to do it. And yeah, don't push yourself too much. You know, this is a heavy wheel, so the, the weight can catch you when you're trying to brake. Give yourself room. Give yourself room to brake and give yourself room to set the wheel up how you want. And yeah, you know, take it easy, but have fun. It's a heap of fun to get these things up at speed in the right place, so. Well, that's about it for this video. It was a super fast look at fancy mode just while I could get over to this little car park. I, look, I really need to find a better place to test this if I really want to get into those higher speeds. But look, this taught me some things here. I really pushed that peak max power a little bit too far. And, you know, I thought my darkness spot app had connected, but it seems that's still a bit buggy and that had disconnected. So I had to use the darkness spot or third party app while I'm testing this. There's no safety features built in to this fancy mode. So, you know, with no tilt back, you've just kind of got to get to get to learn the wheel, get to feel it. And, you know, there's no way that I'd, you know, really recommend going that high in your max power, especially if you're already at speed or pushing the wheel and you really lean in and hit those sort of powers you you know you're really going to look at a cutout so i guess for me that peak power had probably come from a standstill and trying to get those speeds in that small space so you know that's great to i guess see that this wheel will handle something like that but you know i guess you know i wouldn't be reaching for it or trusting it to do that often but yeah you know be safe i had fun i kind of had a top speed of 80 odd kilometers by the time I got home um, so the wheel I guess feels a little bit more zippy and a bit faster but I did start to change my pedal modes in the end I removed all of my assists and you know the feel is just such a different wheel when you remove your assists or add them in and start softening your pedals so all of those things really come into play this isn't really the tire to be pushing those speed runs in a small space it still tracks and you really need to lean in and hold it and on that braking you just need to really clench up and lean really heavy back you know so the wheel does have a bit of a mind of its own and you need to control it um, and try to find a place where you and the wheel come together but you need to watch it it does take you know this heavy wheel at those speeds in tight places you know you think you can sort of hit that corner and then all of a sudden you just realize it takes a bit longer to pull up so give yourself the space wear the gear um, and yeah I'm really happy anyway with normal mode you can still push those speeds up and you've just got that safety and that tilt with the room for error as well so look whatever way you're rolling um, roll safe and if you're gonna push those speeds you know watch your batteries if you if you're on another wheel some of the wheels will really you know won't perform some of the wheels just won't perform when you've got a lower battery so keep an eye on your battery your gear the place that you're doing it the laws in your area um, have fun and yeah hopefully you keep rolling and push yourself i'll keep looking for another place keep testing this and i'll keep the cameras running and show you what i do so thanks for watching another quick video i'll be back real soon have fun out there on your wheels roll safe uh, i'll see you next time for another video bye